What's going on guys, Coach Show here. In this video, we're gonna be covering the three pressing variations you need to start doing right now if you haven't been. What is going on guys, Coach Show here at the Lion's Den located in Colmar slash Hatfield. If you're ever in the area, come check out the gym. In this video, we're gonna be covering three press variations that you need to be incorporating in your training. And what's cool about these variations is they're variations that are gonna limit how much weight you can put on the bar. So typically, if I'm pressing three days per week, I'm gonna have these in the uh, later slots of the week. I've made tons of videos about how to increase your press, different variations, how I program the press, which I'll link up here and throughout this video, so check those out, because I wanna get right to the video, give you guys the content you want, so let's dive on into it. Press variation number one is going to be a banded strict press. I love the strict press in its nature, but just if you're looking to mix it up and add something that's gonna make it more challenging, uh, throw some bands on there. I like using either light to medium bands, and what's cool about the bands, is gonna make the press harder uh, throughout the range of motion. So it's gonna be the easiest out of the rack, and as you continually press through, it's going to get uh, or feel heavier and heavier adding that band resistance. The other thing that's nice about bands is it forces you to not get lazy uh, with the press because those bands are in control. So if you are getting lazy, uh, it's gonna pull the bar down or if you're out of position, you're really gonna feel that band tension trying to drive that bar back down into your shoulders. So switch it up, play with some bands and hopefully you guys enjoy that variation. For those of you that don't have bands, something really easy to switch it up would be just doing a tempo press. So a controlled press for say a three count as you're driving it up. Press variation number two is going to be a pause press. I love doing pause presses because one, it's going to really make you focus on your bar path and positioning, and it's gonna give you some more time under tension, and it's also going to limit the weight on the bar. So for me, what keeps it really simple so that I stay consistent is always doing the pause basically at eye level. So when you're pressing, you can really see where the bar is. You just stop right there and then continually press it the rest of the way up. Now, sometimes it can get a little bit tricky if you go above or below your eyesight because you may be moving the bar slightly and you may not be always getting the consistent range of motion. So you guys know I'm a big fan about uh, getting consistent range of motion. So to keep it simple, just pause at eye level. You can do a one count or a two count, uh, but that's just another variation I've been throwing in. So try a pause press out and let me know what you guys think. The last press, press number three that we're gonna be talking about is the Z press. Now a lot of people think it's the Zadrunas press, but they're wrong. We're in the lion's den, which means it's the Zeke press. <laughs> mm. My three-legged dog who's the gym dog here. Just kidding, but serious. Don't ever call it as a genius press in here ever again. So the Z press is probably one of the hardest presses because you're literally cutting out all your lower body from the press. So you don't really have much stability. You're sitting on the floor. Some people go straight legs. Some people make their legs in a V. I do legs in a V, uh, but it's going to make the press very uh, unstable. So you really have to focus, okay? And you're really putting all the pressure uh, in your upper body because there is no lower body there to help or support you. So I'm doing these from pins, but you can do them from the rack, that's totally fine. Uh, but this is just a great press variation to uh, lower the weight on the bar and still get a good training stimulus for the shoulders. It's also going to help with any stability issues or to strengthen your stability in the press because you no longer have a base. So check out the Z press, the Zeke press as we call it here at the Lion's Den, and hopefully that will help you with increasing your press and just giving you guys some variations to play with. So there you guys have it. Those are my three pressing variations that I've been having fun with using in my training. Hopefully you can throw them in with your training, especially if you're training the overhead press more than once per week. You're gonna need some different variations to help uh, with managing fatigue and also how much weight you can put on the bar. That's why I made this video. So. Hopefully it helped you guys. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you're not a member of the Iron Lions Facebook group, you should. So just go to Facebook, type in The Iron Lions on Facebook, uh, ask to join that group, we'll accept you. It's a sick community. We post tons of articles, we do forum checks, and there's just a great community of people who are all in the journey of bettering ourselves through the iron. So join that group. And if you guys need any help with programming, go to zatstrength.net, check out all the templates. There's some free programs on there. There's also more premium uh, options, such as getting coaching from me or some of the other coaches here, just to assess your goals, your needs, and make a program built specifically for you. Until then, guys, stay lean, mean, strength machine. I'll catch up with you guys next time. Peace. Mr. Ziki.